Hang on. Okay, so now we're looking at a two to one. All right, here's the two to one setup. So this is um, a separate pulley um, that is, it's a CMI pulley. And this is just a really small piece of very strong cord, like the expensive kind. Um, I think that's like seven mil, six or okay. seven mil. Um, it's the kind that's like rated to ridiculous strength and you want to buy the strongest stuff possible okay. um, in that millimeter. Um, I think this might be blue water. I'm not really sure. Um, you just want to do a double fisherman's here directly around the pulley. Um, and then this is a separate line. This one that goes all the way through. It's about uh, maybe seven or eight feet. Um, the reason why you want to have it so long is um, there are times where you need to pass knots when you're hauling. You can pass a knot while hauling if you have a two-to-one ratchet pretty easily. Um, or if, if your rope gets, um, if your haul line gets fucked up and you have a core shot in the middle and you have to isolate it with an alpine butterfly, you can pass the knot with a two-to-one ratchet really easily. Okay. You can also do it many, many other ways. Um, but the advantage of having a two-to-one pulley on you is, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a nice safety and it's also, for me, uh, I'm skinny, it fucking tears my hips up to haul, so this helps me greatly. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, so there's that separate cord, and then there's another upside-down pulley with a mallion and a basic. Um, so basically, um, you know, and you can put the you can put it away in, in different ways, um, but this is what it looks like deployed. Um, so basically what you want to do is, so let's just imagine that we just arrived at the anchor and you set it all up, um, you're about to haul, um, you put the hauling device directly through the main power point locker, which is big, then you also put the two to one ratchet, um, let me put it on this side, so you have the two to one ratchet on the main power line, PowerPoint locker with the the main hauling device. Um, let me see if I can. Hmm. And then you put the haul line through. And this is a micro traction. You probably want a pro traction. Right. If you're going to be doing the nose and doing one-to-one -one hauling, which I okay. imagine you will mostly be doing. Um, okay. Also, when you're trying to orient the, the hauling device when you're hauling, you want the part that you're pulling to be facing outward. You okay, good point. Yep. Um, so you just have that in there. You just want to you just want to be pulling outward on this. Um, the two to one ratchet clips directly on the weighted side of the haul line, just like that. The side that's going to the bag. To okay. The bag that's weighted. Um, this is the unweighted side that you are hauling on. Um, so essentially, what you want to do is um, you want to bring this. ratchet pretty close and you you don't want you don't want the pulleys to be hitting each other too much you want you want your strides to basically bring it up like that okay um, and essentially what you want to do is you want to take a non-locker clip it to your belay device and then you you just do another munter there because you need to adjust this um, to see how how uh, munter okay how close you can get to the strokes and to the anchor um, with your your hip. So basically you want to try and get as close as you can just like hauling uh, one to one you want to try and get your hips as close to the wall as you can um, here and essentially what a what a um, actually let me adjust this So essentially what you want to do is 
The two to one ratchet is doing almost all of the work hauling. This is just holding the rope okay. after you've made some progress. So what you want to do is, you know, you want to grab something on the anchor and you're going to push this down as you move your hip close to the, to the hauling device. And then what you want to do is you just basically want to sit. Okay. So it brings, it brings up this much through the hauling device and then you just pull it through. And then this progress capture device, the main hauling device will capture the, the progress that you make. And then you just do that again. All right. That's it. And you definitely you want to you want to be able to give this a, a yank because you're trying to take the stretch out of the rope. Oh, okay. As you're yanking, and you're trying to get all of this slack through the progress capture device. So you want to give it a good yank because you'll see Makes if you sense. don't it'll it'll move through again and you'll lose whatever it is that you've done so you know you can do that and then if you just come back up and you don't pull it through it'll just go right back down okay yeah. snap it and then you know when you're trying to dock the bag with a two to one you just take the two to one off so let's say we're trying to dock the bag now um, just take the two to one off go directly like your one to one do mm. exactly the same thing pull down the bags really close um, you know, you put the put all that stuff through, and you just unweight it like you usually do. Okay. <coughs> well, thank you, Jonathan.